What? 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 Oh my god, what? Y'all. Pink paper doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Hi dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. And welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become part of the family. My name is Z, and I love to do tons of lifestyle girly pink and fragrance related content. So girl, if that's something you're interested in, do consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you wanna stay updated with all the content that I post, be sure to click the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. All of my social media will be linked in the description box below. So now that you dolls know everything you need to know, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, dolls. I am so excited, one, because it's another Friday and y'all know what that means another fragrance Friday video these are like my favorite videos to film I always get super excited on Fridays because I'm like yay we get to do a fragrance video guys today we are going to be reviewing delicious cotton candy you guys and you guys requested this you guys have been telling me in the comments Zuri 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 try delicious cotton candy try delicious cotton candy and honestly to be honest with you guys I looked around for it and it was kind of hard to find I feel like a lot of the fragrances that you guys suggest are hard to find or maybe I'm just not looking in the right places you guys do when you leave your suggestions let me know where you found it at so maybe I can look there I typically shop at like the cheap places like Ross Burlington I'll go to Macy's I'll go to Ulta but that's pretty much it I don't know where else I can really find these fragrances so do when you leave a suggestion leave where you got yours from and I would really appreciate that Dolly anyways when you guys said try this I was like okay let me go ahead and look for this let me search this out because so many people keep suggesting, let me go ahead and do my research. So I did do my due diligence, girl. I went hunting for this fragrance and I actually was able to find it on Amazon. So I did grab this off of Amazon. It is a 3.3 ounce and I believe I paid $29.99, so about $30 for this, which I mean, a 3.3 ounce, $30, I feel like that's already a good deal. But of course we have to review the fragrance, see what we think about the, hold on just one second, guys. Sorry about that, doll. So my doorbell rang and I got some more packages in the mail. I'm so excited. I've been getting packages galore. I think like a lot of the stuff I ordered before Christmas, expecting it to come on Christmas and it's just now getting here. Anyways, you guys, um, I was talking about this, delicious cotton candy. One of my favorite notes in fragrance is cotton candy. So when I saw that this said a delicious cotton candy, I was like, <laughs> Let me pick that off real quick. So I went ahead and grabbed it, you guys, and maybe I'll do like a scent series where we pick one note and I review all of the fragrances and rate them all, like pick strawberry note and then I'll pull all of my strawberry fragrances. Maybe I'll do all cotton candy. You guys comment below and let me know if that's something you're interested in. But just right off the bat, the packaging alone is just really pretty. It is a holographic pink box. You guys know I love and live for the packaging. I have a whole bag, like a shopping bag, full of just like my perfume boxes that I think are really cute. Love the holographic. It's giving, okay? It's giving strobe lights. It's giving summer. It's giving club. It's giving and I'm obsessed with it. So I I do want to let you dollies know it did come wrapped in plastic but I did take the plastic off just for the sake of the video so it's not annoying me unwrapping plastic in the video you know what I'm saying but uh, this will be my first time smelling this so I have no idea what this smells like I'm actually pretty excited I'm like geeking out over here okay so let me go ahead and read the fragrance notes for you guys okay so the fragrance notes say a delicious cotton candy possesses a blend of orange bergamot clementine cotton candy Lily of the Valley, fig leaves, brown sugar, strawberry, plum, ooh, licorice, vanilla, caramel, cedarwood, and musk. Okay, those are a lot of notes, but most of them sound delicious. The only one y'all already probably know the note that I'm already scared of, that Lily of the Valley. I am not a fan of Lily or any type of floral notes outside of peony. I know I'm pronouncing peony wrong too, by the way. I know it's peony, but that's just my accent, girl. I, 
just let's chalk it up to that that's my chicago accent peony that's just i'll work on it okay i'll work on it okay guys so i'm really loving the idea of a plum and the strawberry now licorice is also kind of a side like i'm giving it a side glare because i know that licorice is a scent that people either absolutely love or they absolutely hate so if it's too strong i feel like it will be a scent that i won't like um but if it's light enough i feel like i will be fine with it everything else sounds good that bergamot orange i'm excited to smell orange and clementine because i don't get orange i don't get too many citrusy scents in my collection so i'm excited to smell that as well but yeah this sounds really really good okay so let's get into unboxing this baby it's white inside Okay, basically basic white. I would like it to be, when I open the box, it to be a little like pink because cotton candy. So, oh, this is cute. Okay, why is the shape of this bottle kind of giving me like mod Ariana Grande mod vibes? Like, isn't, isn't Ariana Grande's new perfume mod? Isn't it kind of the shape of this? This is giving me that vibe. By the way, you guys, I haven't been able to get the duo set. I'm still trying to get that duo set. I might just have to order it from Ulta and wait for it to come in the mail. Um, but look at this. Look at the bottle. I, I think it's cute, okay? It is a little bit different for me. It is giving me like, okay, I think the thing that I'm confused about is this on the cap. There is like a leopard cat. I love cats. You guys know I have a little kitten. I'm obsessed with cats, but this is just throwing me off a little bit because I'm curious as to why there's a cat on the lid. Cotton candy, like what does cotton candy have to do with the cat on the lid? And actually, when I looked at this bottle online when I was purchasing it, I couldn't tell what this was. I thought it was just like a chunk of cotton candy stuck on there. And I was like, oh, that's cool. They just put a chunk of cotton candy. That might be a cute look. But see, you guys, this is why it's so important to try it for yourself and get it in person. Because in person, this is definitely like a cat. Can you guys see that? So weird and just odd. I don't understand that. And I don't think I like that because I don't feel like it matches the vibe of the fragrance. Okay, let's go ahead and take it off. Okay, so that's what it is. Just a plastic lid. And then this is the bottle. I do, however, I'm like not mad at the shape of the bottle. I think it's fine. I think it might be a little bit awkward to spray. My guess is you kind of would spray it like this and not like the typical way most people spray it, which is like this. It is an awkward shape. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's an awkward shape to spray a bottle, but I would personally spray it like this. Um, I'm not a fan of the bottle. I have to say I'm not a fan. I'm okay with this bottom part I'm just not a fan of the lid. I feel like cotton candy It needed to give me some more candy theme to it and this is not giving me candy theme Anyway, dolls, let's go ahead and get into the air test I'm just gonna spray it in the air cold give it an initial whiff and let you guys know what I think then I'll spray it on my skin and we'll go into detail Whoa, that was an easy squirt. I like the the um, dispenser oh. What? 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 Oh my god, what? Y'all. Are y'all trying to play a trick on me or what? Y'all, this is pink sugar. What? Am I tripping? Am I tripping? No, this is pink sugar. Yo, you guys, this smells exactly like pink sugar in the air it smells like this is the biggest pink sugar dupe that i have ever smelled in my freaking life this smells just like pink sugar and it is a little bit more expensive than the pink sugar perfume you guys this is pink sugar i don't know what kind of trick y'all are trying to play on me I'm suggesting this because now y'all know i'm obsessed with pink sugar so of course i'm gonna tell you right off the bat i love this fragrance right off the bat this smells exactly like pink sugar. I don't really get that orange clementine scent that they had mentioned. It could change clementine and orange separately. So I was expecting to may maybe smell a little bit more citrus. I don't smell that at all. I smell a rich cotton candy scent. I do smell sort of a vanilla-y scent and also kind of a marshmallow scent. Also getting a bit of the strawberry plummy note, but the plum's not really there that strong either. I don't really smell the cedar wood that strong as well. Caramel, I do kind of smell a warm, sugary, vanilla-y scent that I feel like could be caramel. It definitely could be caramel, because like 
Caramel, you guys, if you don't know, I believe it's just butter and sugar melted together. So I do get that warm, buttery, sugary note in there. I do not get any citrus note, you guys, though. And I also don't really smell lily of the valley. I don't smell any lily note. So I'm a little bit confused because this is definitely, y'all, this is pink sugar. We can stop the review right now. This is pink sugar. Y'all already know what I think about it. Um, if you if you want to know more details, just click on my pink sugar review because it's exactly the same, you guys. This is pink sugar, you guys. This is pink sugar. Oh my god, stay right here. I'm not tripping. I'm not. I know that I'm not tripping. Like there's no way that I am tripping. There's no way. There's no way. There's no freaking way. I just went to go grab my pink sugar perfume just so I could smell it on the spot and just compare because. I, I swear to God, you guys, this is the same perfume, the exact same perfume. Okay, let's see. You guys, this is the same perfume. There's no difference. This is the same perfume, you guys. That's all I can say. It's, just, it's the exact same, okay? So if you can't get your hands on pink sugar, try to get your hands on delicious cotton candy because this is like, hello, the same. I need to do a comparison video with this because I swear to God, it's the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it on our skin and then I will let you guys know what I think and give you an accurate review. This is crazy. I did not expect this at all. Y'all are y'all are funny. Y'all are funny in the comments. Y'all are funny because this is pink sugar. Yeah, pink. Oh wow. Oh wow. I do, I do get a little bit more of the orange clementine citrus on my skin. Yes, I definitely do. It's definitely more of like a sweet crystal, like sugary clementine. It's not a sharp citrusy, um, acidy, you know what I mean? Like a sour, acidy, tart, orange or clementine. Definitely more of a sweet. Oh my God, you guys, this smells like cotton candy, a little bit of orange clementine mixed in with a little bit of berries, like strawberry, light strawberry. You could say plum. I don't really smell a huge plummy note. I smell more of the strawberry and the orange, but like I said, a very sweet, light strawberry, creamy, orange kind of note. More so the caramel, the vanilla, the cotton candy, and there's like a marshmallow -y note to me. I mean, they didn't mention marshmallow, but I do smell that. I'm just gonna wait for a second and see if it goes down into like a cedar wood type note, because I do know like pink sugar does not, it does not dry down to a, cedar wood note it's definitely all of the high notes kind of dry down into the lower notes if anything uh you could say i've heard some people saying to get a lot more of a licorice note in there i don't smell that on my skin but i know some people have mentioned that i can definitely smell like brown sugar sweet vanilla fig leaves kind of figgy note i would also say on the dry down on this i do get that cedar wood note that i do not get in pink sugar on the dry down i don't I'm gonna have to do a comparison video, but I don't get the cedar wood note in pink sugar. Also, weird, you guys, I smell licorice. Ah, for the first time, I smell licorice. Yeah, the dry down on my skin is giving more of a cedar wood licorice note, and all of the high notes are giving me light, sweet fruit, but more cotton candy, vanilla, caramel, marshmallow at the top, and then I would say the middle notes are more of like this sweet fruit, and then the bottom notes is that cedar wood and the licorice. So if you're someone who doesn't like licorice, I don't know that you would like this scent. People have said that there's a licorice note in pink sugar as well. I don't smell the licorice note in pink sugar. I do smell the licorice note on my skin on the dry down like a little bitty bit. It's really light though. It's definitely doable. Like I'm not mad at it and I would still definitely wear this. I'm obsessed with this, you guys, because it's pink sugar. For the fun of this, the rest of this video, let's just go ahead and rate it. So price point, I would give it a 10 out of 10 for price point. I think $27.99 for 3.3 ounce of this is really, really a very, very good deal. Um, again, I feel like it smells like pink sugar. You guys know I love that fragrance, so I feel like that's not a bad deal. However, I do feel like you get a 3.4 ounce with pink sugar, and pink sugar, to me, I believe is a little bit cheaper i believe i paid somewhere like 25 dollars or something around there or maybe 20 dollars even so i do feel like you can find pink sugar for a cheaper price than delicious cotton candy correct me if i'm wrong but i would probably just 
go for pink sugar me personally um, if I was gonna purchase it again but like I said I do really love this fragrance it smells exactly like pink sugar in my opinion so price point I would give it a 10 out of 10 I think it's a great price point for how much you get and also for the fragrance notes now let's go ahead and get into potency potency I do feel like this is a great potent scent I however do not feel like it's as potent as pink sugar so I would give um, potency on this I would give this probably an 8.7 on potency it's pretty strong it's pretty potent but it's not as potent as pink sugar to me pink sugar is just a lot more rich in their cotton candy notes so definitely an 8.5 8.7 range on the potency for this so now let's go ahead dolls and get into a packaging for packaging i would probably rate this a I don't know, I'm gonna rate it a 4.8 for packaging. You guys know for me, packaging is really, really important. I'm looking to have an experience when I smell fragrances. I'm not just looking to smell a great scent. I'm not just looking for a cute packaging. I'm looking for the whole deal. I wanna have an experience and I just did not feel an experience with the cat on the top. I'm just confused. I'm all around confused with the packaging. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it a 4.8 for me on packaging. I mean, I do like that the lid is very, very nice. I don't mind the bottom part of the bottle. I do like that it's pink tying in with that cotton candy theme. I just feel like the lid could have been a little bit more like more creative and also they could have did a little bit more with the bottle as well um, I do like that the cap or the dispenser is really really easy to dispense like a lot of these perfumes I have to press really hard on because I do have like tiny little hands but this was really soft like the pump went down and came up very very nicely I really really like that and also when the spray came out it gave like a I don't know how you call it like more of like an aerosol type spray it was like whoosh, and not the squirt you know what I mean it was like very nice and light and it sprayed out a big poof at once and I really do like that about the bottle but again I just don't understand the lid so for that reason for packaging like I told you guys I'm gonna give it a 4.8 for packaging so for longevity you guys obviously I can't give you an accurate longevity test because we're just sitting here in a few minutes and doing this video so please do comment below a few days later and ask me what I thought about the longevity because I'll definitely respond to you guys and let you know my thoughts on longevity right now the longevity is doing great it's still in the air I can still smell it very strongly on my skin so longevity right now for me is pretty good so let's talk about notes you guys you guys already know I'm obsessed with pink sugar this is pink sugar it's a little bit different on the dry down it does dry down more into a licorice cedarwood scent and I feel like pink sugar doesn't really dry down into that pink sugar pretty much stays cotton candy the entire time um, so I would rate this for me a I honestly I don't mind the licorice and cedarwood dry down so I would rate this for me a 10 out of 10 for the fragrance notes like I love it it smells pretty freaking good I mean it's a little bit different but it's like slightly different from pink sugar and I honestly don't mind it like I said I do smell that licorice note in on the dry down a little bit more so if you're not into licorice I would not suggest this but if you are a gourmand girly girl go get you one of these <laughs> go get y'all one of these okay the chicken salad it's a chicken salad. Anyways, it is so freaking good. I'm not gonna even lie to y'all. This is perfect for a gift for Valentine's Day or even to wear on Valentine's Day. It just smells so delicious and sweet and it just makes me wanna lick it. Can I drink this? I don't think I can. Anyways, dolls, overall, I would rate this fragrance overall an 8.5. They just did not make it with me on the packaging. That's pretty much what killed the fragrance for me. It's just the packaging. The overall experience wasn't there. It definitely smells like cotton candy, but I, I wasn't like imagining myself going anywhere or doing anything. Like my imagination didn't take off with a story when I saw the packaging. I was very confused. But like I said, the scent is really good. This is definitely like an exact dupe for pink sugar you guys like <laughs> anyways dolls that was it that was my review of the delicious cotton candy fragrance thank you so much to the dolly that suggested it in the comments below if you guys would like to send a fragrance suggestion for a review please leave it down below if any type of video you guys want to see let me know in the comments below i love to hear from you guys don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you dollies in the next video bye Bye, dolls.